This is just a quick demo of the new layer viewer in Maya 2012 bonus tools. So we re-released or rather released bonus tools uh, with quite a few improvements for 2012 and one of the new tools is a tool called the layer viewer. Uh, for starters, um, when we're talking about layers, of course, we're talking about display layers. Now, the traditional way of working with layers is that we go in and we hide the individual layers that we're not working with, and then we kind of isolate the ones that we are working with. Now, you can select multiple layers, and you can come in here, and you can set all to be visible, invisible, or, and so on. Um, but a nicer way of working in some cases is to just quickly and easily go specifically to the layer you want to work with, and that's where the layer viewer comes in. So if you go into Bonus Tools, and again, this is in 2012. If you go under Windows Layer Viewer, this is a tool that's actually been around for a while, but it was uh, kind of dysfunctional or not functional in the previous releases, so it's been completely rewritten. Uh, and basically what it allows you to do is hone in on the area that you want to focus in on. So if I want to see corner, right now I'm seeing everything. This is a standard viewer. I can go in and I can turn my textures on or I can access any of my standard display controls. Say I wanted to focus on corner one, I just simply click on that layer in the list and it will automatically frame and focus in on that particular corner. Let's toggle my grid off. So if I want to see all the layers again, so this will isolate the layer. If I want to see all the layers, I just click on list all layers. And then if I wanted to frame in on the main corner, I just click main corner and again it will automatically frame the camera to the, the corner. Likewise, if I wanted to access the park, it'll automatically isolate, select, and frame in on the park. I can then dive into the contents. So if I expand the contents of the layer, I can come in here and I can focus in on specific pieces of the layer. So I can isolate, select just the fountain, or I can isolate, select uh, the ground, and so on. Same thing, likewise, if I go to a... Uh, street corner here. Let's go to the main corner and I wanted to isolate select that main building there. I can just go into the contents here and I can find my high-res building. Uh, actually, oh that's a bag. Let's see, where is my high-res building? There it is. I can access my high-res building and I can frame in to that without seeing the clutter of the rest of the layer. And if I want to see the rest of the layer, I just simply click on the top level of the layer. So other things that we can do in here, we've got a refresh viewer if for some reason the camera is not updating, which shouldn't really be the case. We've got a toggle for our auto frame camera. So if we wanted to not move the camera, for instance, let's say that we're viewing our entire level, turn off auto frame, and now when I select the various pieces, it's not actually going to change the camera location. So again, if I turn on auto frame and then click on you know, one of my corners, then it's automatically going to move the camera to the frame of that corner. A couple of other things to point out. Um, we've got various display settings. So these are marking menus that allow you to set the display of whatever layer you're on. So I can, for instance, set this display layer to be bounding box, or I can set this display layer to be wireframe, turn off bounding box, uh, full detail, wireframe, and so on. So let's set it to full detail and shaded. A um, couple other things is we can access the layer specifically by grabbing objects and then I can access the layer properties. So if I grab that object I can say remove selected from layer and it's going to remove that from the contents of the layer. Or I can go in and I can say add selected and it's going to add that and then it'll reframe the camera as I do that as well. So again, pretty much all the layer editing functionality, deleting layers, creating layers, and so on, uh, you can do directly from here. I can actually get to the layer editor. I can get to things like the layer membership UI. Um, so all the stuff that you would need to deal with layers is kind of right here at your fingertips, consolidated into one kind of simple UI.